Welcome everyone. Um, I just want to do a brief video on intraarticular joint medications. It's something we um, deal with. It's a management tool we use um, when you've got a lame horse. So the indications for a joint injection are you've got lameness associated with a joint or joints and it's a very localized and there's no soft tissue issues going on as well. So often we'll inject the joint um, with a number of different products that we've got available to us. Um, just with joint injections, I'll just run you through some of the risks. Um, the primary risk when you do a joint injection is getting an infection. Joint uh, fluid is one of the best places to grow bacteria, so um, we have to take a lot of precautions. So you, you will at times, and I've done it over my career, where I've just said, no, I won't do it in the environment. And for that, it's actually your horse's safety I'm, I'm really worried about, because the joint infection is, pot is potentially costly to fix because often the horse will have to go to surgery to have the joint flushed and potentially career ending and if not and potentially life-threatening so it's something we really don't ever want to happen we've got a very low um very low incidence of it but touch wood i don't really have many at all and that's really what their aim is so first of all when we're prepping a joint if it's the middle of winter i'll often clip a joint if it's summer and we've got a short coat i don't often need to clip we need a clean environment Often I find a wash base probably the easiest place to keep clean um, and also not dusty. So we don't want dust blowing in on that. So when we think about joint injections, we think of a couple of different products uh, that spring to mind. Uh, number one is your cortisone. Corticosteroids is still the most one of the most effective methods of dealing with lameness. Um, now there's a couple of different types um, that we use and they all come down to withholding periods. So when you're medicating joints, how long before competition you can use certain steroids. So three ones we use is Kenicort, would be my go-to standard medication, Celestone, a little bit shorter duration of action um, and shorter withholding period generally. And then your Kenicort's middle of the range. And then you've got your Depomedrol, um, just in the box of the thing. Depomedrol is a really useful drug as well for, for horses that may not be competing because that's got an exceptionally long withholding period. Um, so what's the, the risks with cortisone? Uh, the big risk is laminitis. Um, now, I've only had one in my career. I hope I never have another. Again, touch wood, superstitious Irishman. Um, so we really aim um, to decrease the dose, keep the dose as low as possible versus balancing getting the effect. Now, um, different breeds have predisposition to laminitis. So thoroughbreds are actually quite good. They can tolerate quite a lot of cortisone with no laminitic side effects. Whereas the warm blood that might be fractionally overweight is a high risk of laminitis. So those horses will reduce the dose even further. So a standard dose for a thoroughbred might be total dose of 20 milligrams in the entire horse. If I'm only doing one joint, I'll only use probably 10 milligrams. But for a big warm blood, we might use total dose of 10 milligrams. Um, there is data coming out that says dose is not correlated with duration of action. So depending on the joint, we can expect anywhere from three to 12 months response time. So it's a really cost effective, simple way it's not detrimental to the cartilage depending on the cortisone we use so the depomedrol which is stronger will be a slight detrimental effect i would never use that drug in a high motion joint by high motion i mean a fetlock a knee um or a stifle um, whereas if you're medicating the lower hock joints the tarsal metatarsal joints um, they don't move much, so uh, damage the cartilage is not really a concern. So that's sort of our main go-to um, drug for intraarticular medication. It's a standard medication. It doesn't shorten the lifespan of your horse generally. Um, it's more the work you do with the horse after that.